The National Anti-Poverty Commission marks its 21st anniversary by reaching out to the impoverished children who feast on leftover foods from garbage sites and dumps in Payatas, Quezon City, saying that poverty reduction should be the topmost priority of the administration. The agency calls for a budget increase. Stephanie Sevillano has the full story. At an early age, children should realize the value of their rights, regardless of their family social status. Karapatan kong mabuhay ko. Tapos kaya karapatan ko pong isilang sa mundo. Kumain ng gulay, kamatulog. Mag-aral po, tsaka maglaro. Tapos maglinis po sa bahay. Bago po maglaro, kailangan tapos po muna ang mga gawain mo. This awareness campaign is one of the effective strategies for poverty reduction seen by National Anti-Poverty Commission or NAPSI. For NAPSI Secretary Noel Felonco, enjoyment of rights should be felt by children themselves in their formative years, particularly the satisfaction of 10-point basic needs. Naniniwala tayo na sila yung mga future leaders, pero ta, mga malnourished, uh, papaano doon sa edukasyon? Alam naman natin, yung bata kailangan sa early stage pa lang hinuhubog na natin yung mga utak. Diba? In fact, a triggering factor of their outreach program in Barangay Payatas is the sad practice by kids resorting to eating and safe leftover food, commonly known as pagpag. In their desire to sample savory meals, they could not simply afford. Na-discover po namin, ma'am, na sa kabila po ng uh, karanyaan ng lungsod quezon, nakita po namin na mayroon talagang kumakain ng mga bata at uh, nakita namin aktual na yung mga hotdog na luma ay nakalagay sa plastic at yung mga uod ay gumagapang pa. NAPSI emphasized that aside from their right to live, kids are entitled to a healthy lifestyle through intake of nutritious food, a safe and secure home, and loving care, as well as their access to free education, leisure, and other meaningful or life-enhancing opportunities, even if they belong to families living below the poverty line. Amid this initiative, NAPSI calls for further support, especially from the office of the president. We are appealing nga sa ating mga legislators, sa ating executive pa, na kung sana mataasan itong budget na ito kasi marami tayong dapat gawin at uh, yung poverty reduction naman talaga ay yun ang dapat na number one priority ng ating pamalaan. This year, the agency is tightening its belt with a allotted 250 million peso worth of fund for projects combating poverty. NAPSI hopes legislators and officials would realize a great extent the work they do in serving society's vulnerable sectors, particularly the youth. Stephanie Civiliano for the nation.